Hey everyone, this is Earl Royce Hugo and today we're looking at queues implemented using linked lists and stacks implemented using arrays. So let's start with queues. Alright, so as you can see, I'm actually using forms uh, in Visual Studio and this is what my application looks like. It emulates a queue in a clinic and basically it's uh, first in, first out. Uh, except for this little button here that I added, uh, it actually adds uh, the patient in front of the queue. So, but it's just a simple implementation. It doesn't create a new list, just adds one person to the top. Okay, so this is my entry form to capture the name and the concern of the patient. And this is my actual code. Now for this uh, presentation, I won't dive into the details of each button, but I'm going to show you how I implemented this using linked lists. Okay, so here's, here's uh, how I define the linked list. So first, I define a class for the node or the element. So I would have two values and a pointer to the next node. Now this is, uh, I also defined a new class for the linked list. So it will contain the methods that I will use for this implementation. So I, I have uh, find tail, which will look for the last element in the list. Um, I have add node to the tail of the list so if the list is actually empty then it just adds the node to the to that list but if it's not empty then it's going to look for the tail and add the node to the tail and I also have a method for adding to the head which is used by the senior citizen button that I showed you and this actually deletes from the head so basically the my external linked list pointer will just point to the next element instead of the first one okay and uh, here you will see that i defined some global variables this main queue is actually just a node but i used i use it as an external list pointer so basically it always points to the head of the list so that i don't lose the list and then uh, I, this is just something i added to to calculate the, to display the total consultations Okay, so a quick demonstration. So we can have a sign up. Let's say we have a Maria Angelica has fever. Earl Ruiz, a scout. And uh, Earl was added at the bottom of the list. Uh, let's have a senior citizen with a knee pain. He will be added to the top. And let's say we have another sign up. Uh, it's for general concern. As you can see, it will be added again at the bottom. Um, enter, if he enters the room, he won't be removed from the queue yet. Uh, it begins the consultation, he gets removed from the queue. And same with Maria Angelica. Uh, but if we reach closing time, Earl and Gulshan do not get to consult. And the total consultations is just two. Thank you. All right, so let's now look at stacks using arrays, which is, I believe is more straightforward than the previous presentation. So stacks are last in, first out. And my application emulates that with a stack of notebooks. You put uh, one notebook on top of the other and you remove from the top okay so this is my main form uh, this is the entry form and this is my code so let's look at um, some my array specific implementation so these are the global variables that I set so I did define a stack size it's currently set to 10 uh, but later on we can actually do it as user entered but not for this presentation I have the notebook name and now this is uh, the stack representation as you can see I actually use uh, uh, array of strings right okay and then there's uh, the stack pointer which always points at the top of the stack okay so I did not use the built-in push and pop so I, I have that here uh, using arrays so this is my push implementation uh, note that the stack size overflow is actually going to be handled in the button so it won't allow you to push if you have already uh, at the limit and the pop is basically just the uh, reverse of uh, the push all right so a quick demo so as you can see there are no notebooks yet so you can't do anything right but if we start adding notebooks let's say Anjali notebook Earl's notebook Koshan's notebook okay if you check the notebook, Goshan will be removed from the list. If you just peek at the notebook, it will just show the name of the owner of the top notebook. Uh, but we do a check all, everyone will be removed from the list. Okay, so thank you.